guys for watching the fashion stop. I'm Michelle and I'm here to show you guys the homecoming look. I will be sporting to my homecoming dance. And if you guys don't know what homecoming is, it's basically just a dance that we have um, in high school pretty early in the year. We usually when you first start school, like the second month or the month after you start school is usually when homecoming is. I know different schools have it at different times, but there's like it's followed by like a football game. And yeah, that's pretty much all I know about it besides like you dance and you dress up and it's pretty formal. Um, you wear like usually like shorter dresses, cocktail dresses, and um, the guys wear suits. So this is the look I came up with. So it's a very neutral eye winged liner and then some purple and blue um, liner on the bottom. And then I just did a really rosy berry lip. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys how to do it. It's really simple and super easy and I just think it's really flattering. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I've already primed my eyes with the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer in light. Now I'm going to take a brush. This is just a flat brush. I'm going to take the NYX color in, um, I'm going to use this palette type. It's the NYX Nude on Nude Natural Look Kit. And I'm going to take that color, which is kind of like a coppery, I would say it's like a coppery rose toned color. Not too rusty but it's kind of more on the rosy side it's really really pretty and I can't see with that mirror so I'm going to use a compact instead but basically what you want to do is just pack this color all over the lid focusing most of it right on the center the ball of the eye right here and then don't focus too much in the inner corner because I'm going to put another color there. And you can apply as much or as little as you want. And you can see it just gives us a really nice, frosty, uh, warm tone to our eyes, which is exactly what we're going for. We're not trying to apply too much color there. That will do. And that's it. And all you have to do is take a fluffy brush. This is the MAC 217. And just kind of blend it out so it's creating like a darker shadow right here while still blending this color out as if we were using another shadow, but we're really not. It's just all one shadow. Just like that. I'm going to take the same brush and we're going to apply this cream. It's matte. And we're going to apply it to the brow bone, which is the highest point right here. And then also the inner tear duct area. We're going to take a brush, and I'm just actually going to use this brush that we used for the eyeshadow color because we're not going to use this anymore. I'm going to take a purple color. You can use any purple you want. I'm going to be using the one in the NYX palette. This is the Platinum Pink palette. And I'm going to take this one and pat it. And we're just going to look up and just line as close to the lash line as possible because we are going to be putting another color right under this. And you want to make sure you line really well because we are going to be taking photos and you really want us to transfer through in flash photography. And you also want to make sure that you prime underneath here because we want this to stay. Next we're going to take another shadow. This is the Revlon color from the number 11 Sultry Smoke palette from the 12 hour eyeshadow palette or collection. And I'm going to take this blue. And as you can see, we're going to put it right under the purple. So it's going to create like a ombre effect, but it's also going to work as a pop of color. And you just kind of want to squeeze the bristles together to kind of get like a thin -er line. And put that directly underneath the purple. Just like that. And just line two thirds of the way in. And then you want to take a, the brush and just kind of blend it out. 
so it's not so harsh. I'm going to take another flat brush and I'm going to spray it. And I'm going to take the gray color in the palette and I'm going to create the wing. That's just the darkest color. You can use a black. I thought black was a little harsh. So I'm just trying to... I'm keeping it really natural. While still being really fun with the pops of color. So I'm going to line my eyes just like normal. And it's going to be a really thin line. As you can see, I didn't do anything too thick. Then I'm just going to follow my lash line, lower lash line, and then go directly. Create a little wing. And then just connect it up top. And if it's not like sharp like you want it, you can just squeeze the bristles together and make it more precise. I like my lines pretty precise, so I'm just gonna. And it's really light, so we have to darken it up a bit. There you go. Just connect it. It's okay if you mess up, because we can definitely remove it afterwards. like that and just connect that. Now you can take like a Q-tip. Where did I put in? I think I threw it away. We can get another one. Okay. I just get like a Q-tip and just makeup remover. I'm just going to use it plain and we're just going to clean this up. Just like that. You can just wipe it away. Like that. And that is the finished eye makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.